Hi, my name is Caitlin No. I'm here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts to talk to you about flicking. Flicking is a very interesting little trick up the a bassoonist's sleeve that prevents some cracking in the notes from the A on the top of the bass clef staff until the D above the bass clef staff. So just for reference. There will be small cracks because of the way that the instrument is designed in front of most of these notes, especially in passages where you're either slurring down from a higher note, slurring up from a lower note, or doing any kind of very articulated playing. I'll give you an example of playing without flicking. I'm just going to play an A. Now I'm going to play the same A, and I'm going to add a flick. What you're doing is you're timing a very slight tap of the back thumb keys, and I'll show you which keys in a moment, with the tongue articulation on the A, or if you're not articulating with just moving from one note to an A, I'll go ahead and give you an example of that. That's with flick, here's without. out these small cracks to make your playing more beautiful. So there are going to be two keys that you're going to use when you flick. For A, B flat, and B natural at the top of the bass clef staff, you're going to use this key here. For C natural and D above the bass clef staff, you're going to use this key here. I did not mention C sharp above the bass clef staff because it's not a note that you'll need to flick, so that's why I'm leaving it out. I'm going to show you again an example of playing an A with flick and without. Let me do without first. So you'll see I'm not going to flick here. Next, I'm going to add my flick. Again, you don't want to depress the key all the way. You just want to tap it so that you can vent a little bit of air, just like this. Now I'm going to show you an example with a slur and a flick. I'm playing an F to an A. Here's an F to an A with no flicking. Here's an F to an A with flicking. This is a skill that will take some practice to develop. You may also find that on your instrument, you don't need to use the same flick key configuration that I've laid out here. I've found generally that both of these keys can sometimes work equally well when you're flicking. You just want to make sure that the pitch is not affected if you're using a different key than what I've described. Best way to do that is to record yourself playing and then play the recording back to yourself. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.